Hey everybody, it's Brian and welcome back to another Monday mail call because it's Monday and we have a mail call. So let's get on to it. First off, over the weekend we had a Mafia meeting on Saturday and a, a bunch of you saw the video that Luca had posted from the meeting where a bunch of us got together at Louie's house and we, you know, did the thing that we do at model meetings and stuff. And uh, at that meeting we issued a challenge to Mr. Louie uh, over at Autistic Modeler and there will be a link down below to his channel. But uh, Louis like, hey, I got you something. I'm going to gift you this. And, uh, you know, we can do a swap type of thing. I was like, oh, man, you know, that's like the most expensive world, words in the world. You know, I'm not quite sure uh, what I would have here in the stash that Louis would be into. And then it hit me. I should actually challenge Louis to build something outside of his wheelhouse. And I found something and I showed it and I gave it to him and when I showed it to him I said so is this outside your wheelhouse he goes it's not even on the boat man so you'll have to check that out but uh, and we will have a link to the uh, mafia meeting down below there also but uh, this is what Lily gifted us that's right it's that Salvino's kit this is the rollout livery for the Camaro and uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this uh, this of course is outside of my wheelhouse I don't normally do NASCAR I do have one on the shelf waiting for decals uh, it's the Dale Earnhardt Jr. AC Delco uh, car, but um, this guy here, I mean this, this is pretty hefty. This 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 weighs mm, tens of ounces, so uh, it's pretty well packed. And I have this theory that once I pop the seal on this and take the box lid off, I will not be able to get stuff back in here because it's going to do a jack in the box type of thing where it's just going to spring all over the place. So we will wait a little bit to open this one up here take a look inside so that's uh we want to say thank you to mr louis for doing that not only doing that that swap but also being open to doing that challenge and being a really good sport about that so thank you um next up at the meeting one of the one of our members mike he likes to bring some stuff to sale uh, to, for sale sometimes and uh i was poking around in, in the box of stuff he had and i'm like mm, i've got that not really interested in that and then i saw this oh my <laughs> yeah so i you know i just i've always been uh, a fan of mustangs sort of say especially the originals you know from back in the 60s i'm not sure i know what generation they would call those gen one i'm not sure what they would refer them to pre fox body i guess i don't know pre pre mustang too but uh, I've always liked this version here. And as a matter of fact, I have the Monogram 350 GT, oh no, 350R. And then the, uh, or is it the 350 GTR? Excuse me a second. <laughs> I've got to look at the box. It, yeah, okay, so it is the, uh, the GT 350R. I have that in the white with the blue livery. I have the uh, GT 350R blue with the white livery. And then I have um, another GT350 kit that's going to be, I'm going to paint that one up uh, red with a white straight on there. But I wanted just a regular street machine too, just a regular street car also. And this this fits the bill and it was extreme, I mean $15. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't pass that up. So I went ahead and, and, uh, and paid the man and, and took my kit home. So I'm really happy about that. And then uh, I was doing some eBay and, and poking around, and this popped up. Awesome price. Shipping was extremely affordable out of Florida. Just got it today, actually, like just a few minutes ago. And there's a reason why we bought this. And I've had like three of these in the shop, and I've never done anything with them. I've usually ended up giving them away uh, uh, for channel giveaways and stuff. But I decided to get this one for myself and keep it. But we're using it as a parts kit, a potential parts kit for that crazy pickup truck we want to do with the C the C600 tilt cab front end and then the pickup truck back end and this is the kit that we picked up to try and do that with now you're probably thinking that's not going to go well well you could be right it could also be uh, wrong we'll see it could also be 50 50 <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see but um i was just thinking you know it's a ford c600 let's keep it ford parts type of thing i was uh, i was looking at that photograph really really well and i thought you know that looks like gm fenders in the back there but it's hard to tell because they've been they've been modified severely so i thought well let's go ahead and just get this foos kit here and if 
things don't go to plan because I mean like it would be great if we could use the chassis it'd be great if we could use the bed the bed and the rear fenders and stuff hell it'd be great if we use the engine out of this you know type of thing so uh, it would be kind of cool if we could incorporate all that with, with the C600 cab on there yeah we'll have to lengthen the bed yeah we'll have to widen the bed yeah we'll probably have to do some stuff to the fenders and and such in order to make it all symmetrical but I like the idea of trying to use this kit to uh, kind of mash it together with the other kit. There's kit. We're doing some. We're going to be doing some kit bashing there. So um, we're going to see how well that goes uh, once we get that guy open there. But he just showed up in the mail before we sat down to film. We waited for the mailman to show up. So thank you, mailman. Uh, anything going on here in the shop right now? We did some clear coat on the 32. That's actually curing right now in the curing cabinet. It's it's looking pretty sweet. Some guys at the uh, at the Mafia meeting actually gave us uh, some really awesome compliments on how that was looking uh, especially Mr. Chuck from uh, Chuck's Hobby Spot and I appreciate his opinion on on how paint jobs turn out because dang that guy can paint right so that is that uh, the C600 that's been sitting on the shelf back here behind me I uh, haven't done anything with that for about a week now uh, what we have been goofing around with in our free time is a 3d print of Mando uh -huh. Yeah, so this is a 3D print of Mando, and this is just freaking beautiful. Uh, we're going to experiment with using some uh, 2K primer on him from Splash Paints to do a nice uh, all-over black primer, and then see if we can build up color from that there. Um, and then kind of like do the figure painting techniques where you shoot the white paint down, you know, from the top where light would be coming from, and then you start building your color palette from that. So uh, it's going to be an experiment on our part for that kind of thing. Uh, in the meantime, that's all we got going on here. Oh, we did start on the Pro Street uh, build, but we're going to have to have a video for that because it's its own group build. And uh, we look forward to that later in the week, of course. But uh, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> it was a busy weekend for us. It's going to be a busy week here too. So uh, water heaters and carpets are being replaced and installed and all that kind of stuff. So yay, home ownership. All right. That's going to take care of us for this week. We'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. Everybody have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.